So you may have caught our last story a couple weeks ago about this lake, Will Green Lake in Madison County, which is apparently losing county funding because the dock, which you can see behind me, is technically not safe for anyone to walk on. We came down here and caught the tail end of a fishing tournament on this beautiful Sunday and talked to the fishermen who live and work in this area. And they are actually very connected to Will Green Lake and had a lot to tell us. Visit the walk-in clinic at Mercy Primary Care of Irvine on Friday evenings and weekends with no appointment necessary. Walk-in care is open to the community no matter who your doctor is. For those times when it's not serious enough to go to the ER, but you feel too bad to wait until Monday, walk in to Mercy Primary Care of Irvine. Well, I fished here several years ago, but uh, recently bought a new bass boat and came back and I really enjoy this lake. And George was explaining to me that the county is not helping with this lake, which is really upsetting. I mean, it's an awesome place to fish. Um, a lot of sport fishermen here, and it would really, you know, for good for the county if they would come out and at least support, you know, the people that do fish here and take care of the lake. But I, like I said, this is my first tournament in like 10 years here, and I just really enjoy it and like to see, you know, more effort put into taking care of what we have here. I know the George puts takes all the does all the mowing, takes out the trash here, and really it's he's just doing it on his own free time, but I think the county should step up and take care of this lake themselves. But it, it would help, you know, to have some support from the county, you know, having it cleaned and mowed and maybe having, you know, some drinks and something here for, you know, when the guys come in, but there's nothing here. It's just a, a group of anglers got together and decided, you know, we'll just do it ourselves. And George has took the entire load upon himself. And I think it's you know, the county's responsibility because it belongs to them. You can't run your boat fast here, it's, it's, it's idle only. Uh, some of the water, when the water don't move much, it gets like a seal on top of it and it has sometimes has a smell to it. But outside of that, it is a great fishing lake. It's really good. Some of these fishermen we talked to had come from miles. One guy drove all the way from Pikeville and says he comes here multiple times a week because he works in Lexington. I uh, know when I landed my plane, I asked them how much does it cost me to land my plane. They said, well, as long as you don't use a ramp, it won't cost you anything. But I, uh, I've been on the dock years ago and stuff, and, and I can't really say whether the dock is, you know, uh, safe or not. But uh, it was my understanding it was the sewage that was getting pumped in here. But uh, that not being the case, well, then I really don't know about the dock. But that dock looks as safe as I've seen. <laughs> and you guys are all out here enjoying your Sunday? Oh, yeah. These guys are catching these bass and having a ball and uh, got a kayaker. Uh, some kayakers have met and they're going to, uh, I don't, obviously I don't fly anymore, so I won't be landing my plane here, but I will be taking the pontoon boat out with the grandkids. I'm from Jackson County. Uh, it's about an hour and a half here. Uh, I've been fishing over here since I was 14. It's a really good lake. It's the best lake in Madison County. Yeah, it's full of fish. Years ago, you know, it was kind of you know, it wasn't that clean, but now it's clean, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, you got all these subdivisions here. Uh, no, it's, it's clean. I come three times a week. We also spoke to George Powell, who didn't want to be on camera, but he is kind of the brains behind the operation right now because he says he mows, cleans up, checks the parking lot, and makes sure the area is safe now that there's really no one from the county working the area. Because this story became so popular without us even expecting it, we will be doing some follow-ups with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife and hopefully those from the county. For WBON-TV, I'm Marissa Hempel.